Hans Christian Gram was a Danish bacteriologist who developed Gram staining in 1884. Gram staining is a differential staining that allows the identification of bacteria. Indeed, after Gram staining, we can observe under a microscope purple bacteria which will be called Gram positive or pink bacteria which will be called Gram negative. Why do some bacteria appear purple while others appear pink? after this gram staining quite simply because these bacteria don't have the same wall the principle of this staining is therefore based on a difference in the cell wall constituents between these two groups of bacteria and you can follow the different stages of gram staining here through this little animation in order to understand the principle before doing this staining a bacterial suspension is smeared on a slide dried and fixed you have on the left a gram-positive bacterium, whose wall is made up of a thick layer of peptidoglycan. You have on the right a gram-negative bacterium, whose wall has only a thin layer of peptidoglycan, covered with an outer lipid membrane. The primary dye, added to the dry mount, is the crystal violet. Purple molecules enter each bacteria and stain their cytoplasm purple. Gram-positive bacteria and gram-negative bacteria are therefore purple at the end of this step. Next, gram's iodine is added. It's called a mordant because it allows the violet molecules to be better retained in the bacteria. Indeed, the molecules of Lugol enter each bacterium, where they form large complexes with the molecules of violet. Washing with water, then removes excess dye and mordant. If we stop the staining here, we would observe under the microscope, purple bacteria, whatever the nature of their wall. In order to differentiate gram-positive bacteria from gram-negative bacteria, ethanol is applied, which is therefore called a differentiator. Indeed, in gram-positive bacteria, ethanol tightens the peptidoglycan chains. The violet lugol complexes therefore remain trapped in the bacteria, which remains purple. In gram-negative bacteria, Ethanol solubilizes the outer membrane of the wall. So the violet lugol complexes come out of the bacteria, which has only a thin layer of PG as wall. The bacteria therefore become colorless again. We can say that these bacteria are decolorized by ethanol. Washing with water stops the action of the ethanol and completely removes this differentiator. If we stop the staining here, we wouldn't be able to see the colorless gram negative bacteria under a microscope. This is why a secondary dye is applied, in order to stain the gram-negative bacteria, the counter-stain safranine molecules enter each bacterium, and finally, the gram-positive bacteria, which were purple, remain purple, while the gram-negative bacteria stain pink.